by a car. A good understanding of basic algebra is helpful in making decisions in everyday life and throughout life. An excellent example of this is in understanding how automobile values or prices change throughout their useful lives. As items of worth, cars are classified as depreciating assets. In other words, from the time a car is built to the time its career of moving on roads is over, perhaps ending in a junkyard, the value of a car decreases. As cars age and lose value, the uninitiated might think that the values can be modeled using a straight line from the showroom floor to the junkyard. Even though the U.S. government allows for straight line depreciation for tax purposes, the straight line modeling does not truly represent depreciation for most assets. Car value over time is best modeled by an exponential function resulting in what is called a depreciation curve. In this lesson, we'll demonstrate how to model depreciation by creating exponential functions and using them to calculate values of automobiles. I found this page in a website about buying cars. It starts out with a standard rule of thumb for used cars. A car loses 15% to 20% of its value each year. So according to this rule of thumb, a car that depreciates quickly, such as the Chevy Cavalier pictured here, may lose roughly 20% of its value from year to year, whereas the Porsche 911 pictured here depreciates at a lower rate and may lose only 15% of its value per year. Let's take a high depreciation car, this Cavalier. Let's say, to keep the math simple, we start with a value of $20,000, so we have a value of $20,000 at year zero, so we put the point in our table, 0 under the year column and 20,000 under the value column. After one year and a 20% depreciation rate, will the value of the car be 0.2 times $20,000 or $4,000? No, because 20% off means the price will be 100% minus 20% or 80% of the price of the car at year zero. And since 20,000 times 80% is $16,000, the price of the car or value of it will be $16,000 after one year. Now for year two, do we need to take off another $4,000 for the price to be $12,000? No, that would be straight line depreciation. What we'll have to do for the second year is take 0.8 for the 20% depreciation and multiply it by $16,000 for a second year value of $12,800. For the third year value, we multiply $12,800 by 0.8 for a value of $10,240. For the fourth year price, we multiply $10,240 by 0.8 for a value of $8,192. For year 5, we have 8,192 times 0.8 for a value of $6,553.60. And finally, for year 6, we have $6,553.60 times 0.8 for a value of $5,242.88. Now we have a table of an expected value for a car depreciating from a base of $20,000 at a depreciation rate of 20% per year. This is a great use of an exponential model, one that you or any car buyer or seller can use to advantage in buying and selling cars. However, there's a much more efficient way to do this with a graphing calculator. Let's go to the Y equals key. Enter the base value of the car, 20,000, representing $20,000. Next, we multiply by 0.8, which represents a 20% decline from 100%. 100% minus 20% is 80% or 0.8. Then we enter the exponent key or the power of key which is the rooftop key right beneath the clear key on the right side of the keypad then the X key. From here we can go to the table view by pressing second then the graph key. Notice how the values in this table are the same as those that we calculated one at a time earlier. We could also set up a graph of this equation by going to the window view. These are the dimensions of the standard view screen window in the TI-84 Plus and TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculators. Let's look at a 10-year graph by entering 0 for x min, 10 for x max. Let's enter a y min of 0 for a price of 0 and a y max of 20,000 
for a starting value of $20,000. Also, I want to use a Y scale of 1000. Now press graph. Here we see the depreciation curve. From the X axis, we could start at any year we want, let's say year 8, and go up to the curve here as we picture the red line segment. From this curve, we can go horizontally to the left to the Y axis, which shows a price of slightly over $3,000. I checked the table view in the calculator and the table shows a value of $3,355. So we're very close just using the graph. For our next car we'll look at a late model new but fairly basic Porsche 911. This car has a suggested retail price of $80,000. You found one that you like that is five years old and in very good condition. The seller wants $45,000 for it. Using the depreciation rate of 15%, model the depreciation curve with an exponential function and determine if the $45,000 is a bargain price so you can make a well-informed buying decision. Stop the video and figure out the value of $80,000 car depreciate over 5 years at a rate of 15% to see what you should do. Should you consider buying it for $45,000? Here is the exponential function that can be used to model the situation. The 0.85 represents the depreciation rate of 15%. And of course, the 80,000 in the function represents the beginning value of the car. From here, go to the table view by pressing second, then graph to see the value of this car at five years. This value of less than $36,000 lets you know that $45,000 is not a competitive price for this car after five years, although it would be a good price, a very good price for a three-year-old car. If you really want this car, you can use this calculation and information to try to get the seller to come down some off the price offer. I hope you can see how using exponential functions to model car pricing can be a really helpful skill in making such a major buying decision as a car. Let's look at one last situation, a multiple choice problem related to using depreciation to buy a car. The price of a new car is $20,000. If the car depreciates in value at a rate of 16% per year, what will be the car's value after three years? Stop the video and try to find the answer, then restart it to see if you got it right. First, we go to the Y equals view in the calculator. Next, enter the base value, $20,000, or 20000 for that. Next comes the hardest part. If an asset depreciates at a rate of 16%, what does that mean? It means that its value is 100% minus 16, or 84% of the previous year's value. So we multiply by 0.84, so it goes here. Next, we press the to the power of key, or the exponent key, below the clear key on the right side of the keypad. And finally we press the X key, so we now have the exponential function 20,000 times 0.84 to the power of X. Let's go to the graph, the table view, and press second, then the graph key. We see a table of the value of the car for years 0 through 6. We go down to year 3 and see that the car value is $11,854. Then we choose the correct answer, C. This has been Using Algebra to Buy a Car. Thanks for viewing.